Hello everyone and welcome to Spellbound Stories, the channel where I share with you the most fascinating and mysterious tales from Greek mythology. I'm your host Black, and today I have a very special story for you. It's about how Hecate, the goddess of magic, saved Medea, the princess of Colchis, and turned her into a witch. But before we begin, I want to ask you a question. Do you know who Hecate is? She is one of the most powerful and mysterious deities in Greek mythology, and she has many aspects and roles. She is the goddess of crossroads, night, light, ghosts, witchcraft, and the moon. She is also a protector of the household, a helper of travelers, and a savior of those in need. Hecate is also closely associated with Medea, the heroine of the famous myth of Jason and the Argonauts. Medea was the daughter of King Aeetes of Colchis, and she had the gift of prophecy and sorcery. She helped Jason to obtain the Golden Fleece, a magical ram's skin, from her father, and she fell in love with him. She betrayed her family and fled with Jason to Greece, where she used her magic to help him in many adventures. But Jason was not faithful to Medea, and he decided to abandon her and marry the daughter of King Creon of Corinth. Medea was furious and heartbroken, and she plotted a terrible revenge. She killed Jason's new bride, King Creon, and her own children by Jason, and then escaped in a chariot drawn by dragons. But how did Medea become such a powerful witch? And what role did Hecate play in her life? That's what we're going to find out in this video. So, if you're ready, let's dive into the story of how Hecate saved Medea and turned her into a witch. But before we do that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. I upload two videos every Monday and Thursday, so you don't want to miss them. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's begin the story. The story begins in Colchis, the land of the Golden Fleece. There, Medea was a young princess who had learned the secrets of magic from her aunt Circe, the famous sorceress. Medea was fascinated by the power of spells and potions, and she wanted to master them all. She also had a gift of prophecy, which allowed her to see glimpses of the future. One day she had a vision of a handsome hero who would come to Colchis and claim the Golden Fleece. She felt a strange attraction to him, and she decided to help him in his quest. That hero was Jason, the leader of the Argonauts, a band of adventurers who sailed across the seas in search of glory. When Jason arrived in Colchis, he was welcomed by King Aetes, Medea's father. But the king was not willing to give up the Golden Fleece, which was guarded by a fierce dragon. He set Jason a series of impossible tasks, hoping to get rid of him. But Medea, who had fallen in love with Jason, secretly helped him to overcome the challenges. She gave him a magic ointment that made him invulnerable to fire, a potion that put the dragon to sleep, and a charm that protected him from the dangers of the sea. With Medea's aid, Jason succeeded in obtaining the Golden Fleece, and he fled with her and the Argonauts. Medea's father was furious, and he pursued them with his army. But Medea was not afraid. She used her magic to create a storm that slowed down the pursuers, and she even killed her own brother, Absurdus, and scattered his limbs in the water to distract her father. She was ready to sacrifice everything for Jason, and he promised to love her forever. But Jason's promise was soon broken. After many adventures, they settled in Corinth, where Jason became a famous hero. But he was not satisfied with Medea, who was seen as a foreigner and a witch by the people. He wanted to marry the daughter of King Creon, Glaucia, who was young and beautiful. He thought that this would bring him more honor and power, and he forgot about Medea's loyalty and devotion. Medea was devastated, and she swore to take revenge on Jason and his new bride. She pretended to accept his decision, and she sent Glaucia a gift, a dress and a crown, soaked in a deadly poison. When Glaus put them on, she burst into flames, and she died in agony. King Creon, who tried to save her, also perished in the fire. Medea's revenge was not over. She wanted to hurt Jason even more, and she did the unthinkable. She killed her own children by Jason, and she left their corpses for him to find. Jason was filled with grief and rage, and he rushed to confront Medea. But she had already escaped in a chariot drawn by dragons, a gift from her grandfather Helios the sun god. She flew away, leaving Jason alone and miserable. He cursed her name and he wished he had never met her, 
But where did Medea go? And how did Hecate save her and turn her into a witch? Well, that's where the story gets even more interesting. Medea flew to Athens, where she sought refuge with King Aegeus, the father of Theseus, the hero who killed the Minotaur. She told him a false story, and she won his trust and sympathy. She also used her magic to help him conceive a son, Medus, who would later become the king of Media, a land named after Medea. But Medea's peace was short-lived. She soon learned that Theseus, the son of Aegeus, had returned to Athens after completing his heroic deeds. She recognized him as the enemy of Jason, and she feared that he would expose her true identity. She decided to kill him before he could reveal her secrets. She offered him a cup of wine, poisoned with aconite, a deadly plant sacred to Hecate. But Hecate, who had been watching Medea, intervened. She had a special bond with Medea as they were both goddesses of magic and night. She admired Medea's skills and courage, and she wanted to protect her from her enemies. She also wanted to teach her more secrets of witchcraft and to make her her priestess and companion. So Hecate caused Aegeus to recognize Theseus as his son just before he drank the poisoned wine. Aegeus knocked the cup out of his hand, and he embraced Theseus with joy. He then realized that Medea had tried to kill him, and he ordered her to leave his palace. Medea fled, but she was not alone. Hecate appeared to her, and she offered her a place in her realm. She said, Medea, do not be afraid. I am Hecate, the goddess of magic, and I have come to save you. You have impressed me with your deeds, and I want to make you my witch. Come with me, and I will show you wonders you have never seen. I will teach you how to master the forces of nature, how to summon the spirits of the dead, how to cast spells and curses, and how to shape your destiny. You will be my servant, but also my friend. You will have power and freedom, and you will never be hurt again. Medea was intrigued by Hecate's offer, and she agreed to follow her. She boarded Hecate's chariot, which was also drawn by dragons, and they flew away to the underworld, where Hecate had her temple. There, Medea became Hecate's witch, and she learned all the secrets of magic from her. She also became immortal, and she lived for many centuries, helping or harming people with her spells, according to her whims. She never saw Jason again, but she heard of his fate. He wandered the world, alone and unhappy, until he died under the rotting hull of his ship, the Argo, which fell on him and crushed him. Medea felt no pity for him, only contempt. She had moved on and she had found a new life with Hecate. And that's the end of the story of how Hecate saved Medea and turned her into a witch. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something new about these fascinating characters from Greek mythology. What do you think of Medea and Hecate? Do you admire them, or do you fear them? Do you think they were justified in their actions, or do you think they were evil? Let me know in the comments below and let's have a discussion. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Spellbound Stories and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. I upload two videos every Monday and Thursday where I tell you more amazing stories from Greek mythology and other myths and legends from around the world. You don't want to miss them. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Spellbound Stories for more amazing and mysterious tales from mythology, history, and fiction. I upload two videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays, so make sure you don't miss them. And until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and stay spellbound. Bye for now.